what's going on kids? I'm Sean from Start to Finish Gaming and welcome back to episode 8 here on Ark Survival Evolved. Guys, in the last episode we traveled all around the island map and got ourselves three utility tamed dinos. We got ourselves the Mammoth, we got ourselves the Dodicarus, and we got ourselves the Ankylosaurus. If you guys haven't checked out that video in the right hand corner right about now is a link sending you on over there. So definitely check out that video then come on back to this one. But today, guys, today I want to go out and get a requirement. I want to get a specific dino that I absolutely love, and I feel like it's one of those staple dinos that you 100% need in your playthroughs, and that is the Argentavis. I am really, really excited for this. I personally love the Argent. We do have a few things to do at base first because we are currently in the Summer Bash event. So I have went ahead and made myself a total of... I had 16, but I had to break two. Preserving bins. These things are going crazy and everything like that, but we have a decent amount of stuff already, which is really, really exciting. I have a total of... Oh, wait, I actually put it in the fridge already. So let me grab all these. Um, we have over... I think this is going to put us over 300 prime meat jerky, so we'll be able to get a lot of things with that. On top of that, we have a ton of cooked meat, and if there's not enough cooked meat... I'll actually be able to um, go to my feeding trough, grab some meat from there. So we should be pretty good to get a boatload of items. I'm really, really excited about this because in particular, because we started this whole new playthrough, I've lost all of my emotes. So my plan is to get all of the emotes that I can from every single summer bash event, basically, just to catch us up in that department. And we'll try to do that with every uh, future event and everything, too. Um, but on top of that, too, there's some really cool skins, honestly, that I'm really, really liking. And I want to grab those, including the glasses, the aviators, um, and then a couple of the shirts. Some of the new shirts look really, really, really nice. Um, so I'm really, really excited about that. So let me grab the last two things here. Throw them in. And we should be good to go. I will be honest, I feel like when it comes to the jerkies and preserving bins... They, they got to get an upgrade on this. We have an upgrade on cooking. We have the industrial grill. We have an upgrade on the cooking pot, which is the industrial uh, the industrial cooker. We don't have an upgrade for the preserving bin, though. I feel like, and we talked about this in my Discord and everything, a few of us. I feel like the upgrade for the preserving bin would be like a dehydrator or something like that. That would kind of go along with the industrial grill. It kind of works just exactly like it. But it just makes this stuff so much quicker, honestly, because in total, if you guys don't know, um, making cooked prime meat into jerky takes 36 minutes, I believe. It's around there. This whole process of doing this and getting the amount of jerky I have here took 13 in-game hours. Now, what's different is on servers, that's not too bad. You do it overnight, no big deal. On single player, I had to literally be in the game for 13 hours <laughs> to do this. And it has been an absolute pain to do. And I feel like an upgrade in this department is huge. Because especially with the Summer Bash event, you just need so much of this stuff. So, I don't know. if there's, I don't even know if there's a way maybe to contact Sed or something like that and kind of let him know. But I feel like that would be a really nice upgrade. And especially with the brand new map and everything coming out. Um, why not? They're adding new dinos. Why not like add a new item or something? But what we're going to do is we're going to take out all this prime meat jerky to start... We have a little bit of cooked meat jerky in there, which I will re be replacing my regular cooked meat for that. But for now, we're just going to do this. We're going to throw this all in here, or at least a decent amount of it. Let me see. All right, so that's 314. Um, do I have any thatch? That would actually be better. There we go. That's enough. <laughs> you don't really need a lot, which is nice. You just need thatch or wood just to be able to cook this stuff. So let's do that. 36 total. Let's get that started here. Holiday. Um, first thing is first, all the emotes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we could slowly watch that quickly uh, go away. Uh, all right. Archer, bicep, mosh pit, air guitar, air drums, backflip, and finally, last but not least, the hula dance. So now we are all caught up with the with uh, Summer Bash and everything, which is nice when it comes to emotes. There's a few other things that I want, though. So we can actually use the jerky for cooked prime meat and everything like that. These are the two in particular that I want. The hover sail print and the shadow main print. 
I also want to get myself the angler hat skin. And also, obviously, as we all know, the Rex inflatable costume. I definitely want that. But we have a total of, uh, we have a decent amount, let's put it that way, of prime meat left. I want to use the prime meat jerky for random chibis. We're going to get 13 options, and we're going to see what we can actually get. I would love to get something brand new. I would love the, uh, the new Dodo that they came out with. The Dodo has the aviators on. I think that's really, really cool. Um, the retro glasses are cooked meat. Okay, good. So we're fine there. I'm going to kind of keep it on this screen so we don't see what's going on in the background. I want to be surprised just like you guys um, and see what we actually get here. In the meantime, I'll throw that wood in there because why not? And we can also consume these in the meantime, too. All right, so we're good there. We have seven left. I'm really excited to see what we got. I hope we got something good. I like doing it this way because I don't see, I don't have reactions. Like, we're seeing this at the same time, which is kind of cool. At least I think so. I'm probably overthinking this, but it's okay. <laughs> Anyways, um, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of skins here that I really, really like. But in particular, I really like the aviators, and I really like the wayfarers. Um, the emotes are cool. I like the angler skin hat. This thing actually looks really, really cool. And then obviously the uh, this guy here too. If I have time, I'll try to grab a few more of them and everything. But oh, here we go. Okay, so we got ourselves the... Let me turn this off. All right, so we got ourselves the Featherlight, the Skeletal Stego, the Akatina, the Glowtail, the Kentro, the Tuso, the Fiomia, the Kentro, the Dodicarus, the Glowtail, the Tropio, the Pteranodon, and the Fiomia. So not the best group of them, but what's nice is we can actually take four of these and bring them downstairs and basically cook them to get another random one. So it's kind of like a re-roll, if you will. Now, I've loaded this up with a ton of... Um, ton of wood and everything just because I basically want to start getting a ton of charcoal and everything going um, in order to start making gunpowder and doing all that because I've actually already kind of begun that process um, overall we basically have I think it's like at this point I think I have about 300 strength darts ready to go which is why this whole process is going to be a lot easier getting the Argent I'm really really excited to do that honestly I've been wanting to get the Argent for a while, and, like, there's just so many dinos that I really, really want, but the Argent's definitely on the top of the list of everything that I want. Let's quickly eat here. Um, I'm gonna be honest, uh, the Akatina, I have no whatever with. I don't, I, I'm never gonna use it. <laughs> uh, let me take four out here, so we're good. 20 out of 24, that's fine. I'll take out one more. For the meantime, and let's kind of throw that in here, so this stuff's just out of the way for right now. I personally have never gotten the Tuso, so I'll probably add that to this. But um, the Akatina, the Fiomia, the Fiomia, and the Kentro, I will never use. And I don't care what the colors are and everything. I'm never going to use them. So let's see what we get. We got a Megaloceros, which isn't much better, honestly. Uh, the Glowtails are kind of cool, but I think I'm going to put in the Kentro this time. The Megaloceros again. The Pteranodon. And the Dude. Let's see if we get something better this time. And we get a Dude out of all that. Wonderful. Okay, uh, the Feather Light's pretty cool. I think I'd probably keep that. The Skeletal Stego, let's kind of take a look at a few of these, because I don't like the Tropio. So the Tropio will go. The Glowtail, let's kind of see what they both look like. All right, let's kind of do this. Orbit camera. Okay, it doesn't look that bad. Okay. And what about the other Glowtail? If I had to keep one, they're like the same. This one just has black on the face. And this one doesn't. So I would probably prefer to keep this one. Let's see what the Skeletal Stego looks like. Eh. I'm not too much of a fan of the Skeletal ones, honestly. So I'm going to say no to that. Let's see what the Tuso looks like. Nah. <laughs> and now finally the Feather. Ooh. Okay, so the Feather Light's the winner out of the group. 100%. It's not going to beat the Tropio, but we'll take a look at the Tropio anyways. Yeah, no, that's just the, like, regular one. The Featherlight definitely wins for the entire group. This is the one that I would use. So the rest of these, um, let's kind of throw those four in there. Unfortunately, we're going to be one off. The Chibi Parasaur. No. <laughs> okay, so we're getting really bad luck with these, but that's okay. I'm going to throw this stuff in here for now. Probably towards the end of the episode, because I'm going to have the... Uh, I still have a little bit of prime meat and everything in there. 
So that'll kind of keep going and everything. So we should be actually getting a little bit more prime meat towards the end of the episode. Prime meat jerky, I apologize. Um, so we should be pretty good there. But now what do we need? I want to do the... I want to do some of the skins. I'll put the jerky back. I want to get all of the cooked prime meat. So I think I already did the math. I think it's like 400 I need. So let, let me get that. I'll bring, I'll bring you guys back in a second here. All right, so we got a little bit of cooked prime meat in here. Let's see what we can actually make. So first of all, uh, let's do the ang let's do the inflatable costume and the angler hat. Then we should need to put in a little bit more here. And then the remaining primate that I have, I'll basically end up just... Uh, let's see, do we want any more of these skins? Um, bulb dog? Nah. Gas bag? Nah. Ice pop shirt? We had that in the last series, or maybe two series ago. Um, so no to that. I like the shadow main. Maybe I should get the floppy one for now. Yeah, let's do the floppy one too. We have more than enough other stuff. That's totally okay. And we're good to go there. Now we need to start doing this cooked meat. Retro glasses. And retro glasses. I think we're all good to go, actually, with the event. That is awesome. Anything extra that I get in the meantime, anything extra from, like, the cooked meat, the cooked prime meat, all that, um, I'll leave on the side. And, obviously, towards the end of the episode and everything like that, we'll take, uh, we'll obviously do another round of cheapies and stuff and see if we can get anything better better than this feather light. But I actually really, really like how this feather light came out. So, let's get to the good stuff. Let's get ourselves the trap all set up. Let's head on up and get ourselves an Argentavis. Really, really excited for this. All right. So it looks like we actually have a little bit of a problem. Uh, yeah, we need a little more weight on the Pteranodon. So what I'm actually looking to bring with me is a couple of cryos in case we come across a couple of them. Uh, net projectiles in, th in case things go wrong. Uh, one reinforced dino gate, five gateways, and four pillars. We're going to kind of do a little bit different of a design than we usually do. And also 153 trank darts and obviously a little bit of food. But we do need to... It seems like we need to go on a quick explore note run, unfortunately. So let's do that with the Pteranodon. Let's get a few levels on this thing and we'll go from there. So I think in this area there's a couple of them too, which actually makes this trip uh, relatively short. So let's head up this way. Let's grab a few explorer notes. All right, let's start out with the first one that I know of. It's pretty much right here. Yeah, there it is. Uh, so let's grab this guy. Let's see what the Explorer note actually is. This is of the... Oh, it looks like a Rockwell note. Yeah, it looks like a Rockwell note. I think that is. Yes, it's a Rockwell note. Sweet. Okay, so Tyranodon already has some levels, but that's okay. I know there's one a little bit this way, too, and then a couple up that way. So I think we're going to probably get about a total of four, which should be more than enough for us. But we'll see how this goes. All right, Explorer note number two. Yep, here's number three, right over here. See what you are. You are for the Onik. Okay, cool. Yep, and then last but not least, there should be one right in these ruins over here, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's right in this corner, right? Yep, there it is. All right, and this is a Mayan note, I believe. Yes, it is. Cool. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. This is a Nerva note. I thought that was a Mayan note. Anyways, okay, so we got a level up. Okay, we have a total of 11 levels. We should be more than okay. Uh, let's bump maybe... That's perfect, 252. And then I think the rest should go into Stam, just so we're pretty good in that department. Um, yeah, that should be fine. Let's just do that. Let's bump up as much Stam as possible on this thing. We ourselves got a level, so I'm going to put that again into Fortitude. Eventually, I will make a Mind Wipe Tonic because that whole crafting skill of one level is irking me a bit. <laughs> but we should be totally okay. So let's head on back to base. Let's get ourselves um, let's get ourselves all of our stuff. We should be pretty good to go at this point, or at least I hope we should be good to go. If not, we'll make one more uh, Explorer Note run. But I think we have more than enough in the uh, weight department to kind of work this out. We are still encumbered. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, all right. I guess we got to do another Explorer No Run. Thankfully, there's another one or two um, in the area, so that's not too, too bad. Um, but then we should be pretty good to go. So I guess maybe, I don't know, maybe two two to four more levels in uh, in weight should probably work this self, work itself out for us. All right, before we head ourselves back towards the coast, I know of one pretty much right here. So let's grab this one. 
Um, and then we'll head back towards the coast where I believe there's another about two or three that we can also grab too. Uh, let's see how many levels this gives us. This gave us two right away. Hmm, 264. Probably one more explorer note and we should be actually pretty good. So let's see if we can track that one on down. All right, here's another one. This should be our final one. There is a Rex right by us, which is always a little concerning. Uh, let's see if I can grab this one. I can. Perfect. And this is for the Microraptor. All right, there's the Rex, and we are getting out of here. We should be more than enough at this point. Another two uh, should put us over, uh, yeah, 277. That we, we should be good to go. Let's head on back to base. Let's get our stuff. And finally, let's go get ourselves a uh, Argentavis or two. All right, guys, so first stop for Arjun hunting is the Mosh Pit. This is probably the closest location um, to base and everything. Let's take a quick look and see what's going on down there. It's just absolutely insanity. Uh, is that 140 or 40? Well... It's probably, yeah, it's 40. Okay, never mind. But you can see that there's just everything killing everything down there. And what's nice about this area is if you hang out here a while, things will start respawning and it'll kind of just just continuously killing each other, which is awesome. Um, and you can find some crazy good stuff here. Like, look at that saber. That's a cool looking saber. Um, but like, there's sabers here, there's stegos here, there's argents here, rexes, aloes. There's a whole bunch of things here. Now, unfortunately, the only disadvantage we're at is this Pteranodon is not a fighter, so we're really just going to be spectating and then kind of waiting for stuff to kind of respawn back in and everything like that. But the best so far is a 65, or d is that the 65 Stego, possibly? Yeah, it looks like a 65 Stego. Okay, so nothing really here right now, but we'll kind of keep coming back and forth to this area. But I guess what we're going to do is we're going to head towards the mountains and stuff like that. We can't go too much into the snow, unfortunately, um, because I don't actually have any hide. Um, so as you can see, we are right on the border here, and I'm already frigid. So unfortunately, the snowy area is not a place for us right now. Um, I do have hide back at base, actually, which I probably should go get that. But we'll take a look at the other mountains and the other areas first. My plan is I would like to get two Argents, a male and a female, so I can breed them. The first one, we're going to do the traditional trap method. The second one, we're actually going to use the new net gun, I think, just to make things a little bit easier and just to show you guys that... Oh, is that a monkey? Oh, it's Dodos. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> um, but just to show you guys that there's... The net gun is just so amazing, honestly. Uh, what level are you, buddy? 25. Okay. All right, guys, so I found a 145 Argen. Hopefully, it's still alive. Uh, it was taking on some raptors and stuff like that. I think if I make the trap, like, right here, we should be pretty damn good. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's make the trap right here. Um, hopefully, we have enough things. I'll have to break this piece in front of me, but that's okay. Kind of go maybe there. Kind of go maybe there. I don't know how far space these should be between, but there we go. I think that's okay, honestly. Oh, this one's really far off. Let's pick these three back up and do this again. Yeah, that's okay if it's like that. I'm more I'm more going to set this up a little bit differently. We're going to use these pillars here and kind of make this... Let's see. Two should be enough. Yeah, two will be enough. So let's kind of pick you up. Pick you up. And by putting this here, theoretically, the Argent should not be able to get out. I hope. <laughs> we did this on the center, basically, um, on the center series. I'm going to put it right here. And I think that's going to be okay. Let's pick you up. This theoretically should give me enough room and the um, and the Pteranodon to get through. Uh oh, maybe not. Can I get in this way? No, I cannot. Okay, so I got to space this out a little bit more. Oh boy, don't want to lose pillars and stuff over this. And we lost a pillar over it. Okay. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, so the Pteranodon can get out of that, so I'm wondering if that's okay. Let's kind of do this. And let's build this up, and hopefully this works. Do a quick test run before we do anything here, and hopefully this Argent isn't dead, because if it is, that's going to be horrible. Alright, so my Pteranodon can get out that way, so you know what, I'm going to call that a win. I really cannot wait to use this net gun. I am not a fan of the traps and everything like that. Like this trap in general, uh, no, I want the, I want it going the other way, but I guess it's okay. It is what it is. Um, let me break this. Let me get this out of here. Cause again, that's just, this is going to kind of be our entrance here using the, um, using the net gun instead. It's just going to be a hundred percent better, easier and everything. My old school trap ended up just taking so, so long to do, honestly. And a lot of people do like using the trap that I kind of set up behind me, basically. Um, but I don't know. I can never get, like, the snap points right and everything. And I always seem to mess this up. So it's a godsend that they made this net projectile thing. But let's see kind of how this goes. Now, when I saw it last, I think it was down this way. Now it's just a matter of finding it again. All right, I think that was it right there. Hopefully, if not, then there's two uh, 145s in the area, which is absolutely amazing. Oh, I I, I need uh, <laughs> I need stem. Oh man. <laughs> All right, let's get a little bit more stem on me. At least we can learn this uh, nice and quick here. Hopefully, good. Aggro me, thank you. Good, 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 good. Okay, you're hitting for 12. Um, that's actually not that bad because I have an, I have the upgraded saddle on this thing. All right, let's slowly but surely get this thing back to the trap. Let's kind of wait here for a second. I think my trap is... Where's my trap? Oh, boy. We're going to go in nice and slow. I should be able to get through. Argent should not. I'm going to leave it here so it aggro's on that still. No, 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 no. Ah, damn it. All right, take two. <laughs> At least the trap works. That's always a plus. Nope. Stop. Nope. Oh my god, the net gun's gonna be so much easier. You look really nice, though. Okay. I just need you to start aggroing me. Let's go. Alright, it's in the trap. Let me quickly run around here. And we're good. It should not be able to... It better. Oh god, it's gonna get out of that area, isn't it? I think we're okay. But now at this point, it's just a matter of knocking it out, which shouldn't take too, too long. I have already killed a few things, so uh, we do have a little bit of prime meat and everything. Oh, wow, this gun's actually pretty good. 73, that's great. And you look amazing. Oh, my God, I love the colors. The red, the, like, beige on the wings, and with that, like, dark gray. You're not running already. I've only done, like, one shot or two shots. Of you. And I keep missing, so that's not a good thing. <laughs> please do not be able to, please you cannot get out I think it's running for me which is good we've done about 10 shots only so like yeah I think it's actually running and it's out and we got a stego right here what level is the stego if it's low then there's prime meat ooh there's prime meat sweet alright let's see moment of truth is it good Ugh. 1898 in health, 960 stam, 552 weight, 185 melee. The melee is not good at all. Eh, it is what it is, though. It's our first one. Um, at least if we can get an imprinted one. Like, honestly, even an imprinted one is going to be really, really good. So let's see if we can kill this thing. I don't think we can. <laughs> I just can't get hit by that. Yeah, I can't get hit by that. that that's bad. That's what I was worried about. Ah, damn it. And I'm dead. <laughs> Alright, I guess we're bringing the Maywing over there. Uh, Alright. Alright, so there's the Stego. Um, I don't know what is going on. <laughs> Because the Pteranodon didn't die. Um, I don't know. We'll see in a second what the heck happened here. That That's very strange. Um, kind of do this. 
and see what's... Pteranodon's still here. Oh god, imagine it's attacking the Argent. I don't know why it would do that, but... Where is it? Pteranodon, Pteranodon. Okay, you're here. Why? Alright, very, very strange, but okay. I guess we'll kind of work with it. At least the Argent's not hurt or anything like that. It's no big deal. Um, there are a couple of Hyenodons a little bit up on the hill, so I think I'm going to end up actually killing them, and that might just be a little bit easier of a route. Um, we're going to get rid of the Noglin. I don't want that. I don't want this. Um, really kind of funny how this actually worked out. Of course we ended up dying, um, and I was actually a little concerned that... Uh, they would kind of fight each other all the way to the trap, but it is what it is. No big deal. Uh, the Stego looks okay. We're not going to bother with that Stego. You know what I could do? Well, I just do it this way. There we go. Now we get the Stego. <laughs> Gotta love the net traps. There we go. All right, four prime meat, awesome. Plus whatever we have from before, that's fine. I'm gonna go up there though and get a little bit more um, because there is, what's ours back at base? Hmm. I think ours is a female if I'm not mistaken, but I'll have to look into that and see. Uh, let's get a little bit of armor on and everything. All right, first Argent of the series is up. Let's check out the stats. Let's see. I'm not really expecting much in melee, but... All right, 3139 in health, 1160 in stam actually isn't the worst thing in the world. 672 in weight's not bad, and then 255 melee damage. Jesus. <laughs> this thing's not a fighter. We gotta find a fighter. 100%. There's no way. Um, if in the if we do end up finding another Argent in this area, I probably will use this trap again. Uh, but what's nice is we do have access to the net gun, which is kind of like what I was planning on doing. Kind of like traditional methods versus what we can do now with the net projectile, which just makes things so much easier. But first Argent of the series, not great, not bad. Let me take a look around. Let me see what I can find. I might actually head back to base two and drop off the Maywing. Um, and then on top of that too, uh, maybe... Ooh, there's an Argent. Uh, maybe... What level? 20. Okay, no. But there's another Argent around it. Ooh, okay. Here we go. Maybe a good one? Nope. 5 and 20. Wonderful. Okay. Um, yeah, you know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to head back to base. I'm going to check out this one. Whoa. 70 now. All right. For the third time, I'm going to head back to base. I'm going to get myself the hide armor and everything, too. So hopefully that gives us access to the northern regions, the snowy regions, because... There's Argents up there, too, and I kind of don't want to just only limit myself to this area. Um, I would like to go into the cold areas, too. I will not go in the Redwoods, um, 100%. No way. <laughs> I'm not a fan of Thylas, and with an, with the Pteranodon really, really, really low in the stamp department, no, no, that's just a recipe for disaster. I am not doing that. Um, but um, is, that an, is that an Alpha, or is that a... No, it's just a regular one. Um, but anyways, let me head on back to base. Let me get some more stuff. Let me drop off the Maywing, and then, uh, we'll kind of head back out here, and we'll see if we can find ourselves a female, because I want to start breeding them. I want to start getting some really crazy Argent, so we'll see what happens, guys. All right, guys, so just checked out the Mosh Pit. No luck there, so now we're going to start heading up north. It is still too cold, even in full hide oh my gosh i thought we were gonna be okay honestly um all right we might not actually be able to <laughs> go into the snow unfortunately we might be limited to just certain areas um i thought we were looking pretty oh god i am out of stamina <laughs> oh my gosh this is the one thing i can't stand about the pteranodon is the fact that there is no stamina in this thing oh my gosh this is why we need an argent this, this right here. And we're going to fall in the water. No, we're not. Okay. So at least we're going to hang out here for a minute. I'm already losing a little bit of health. Um, so yeah, I guess snow region for us is gone. We're, we're not going to the snow region. Um, I think we'll just have to limit ourselves to the mosh pit and the mountains. But it is what it is. No big deal. Hopefully we find ourselves a female Argent here in a little bit. Um, I have, in fact, brought the male Argent with us so we can compare stats and stuff like that. But 
hopefully we find something soon, and at least hopefully we get out of this cold weather soon, because, uh, yeah, it's gonna keep screwing up my health if, uh, we hang out in here a little too long. Alright, um, here we are at Carno Island, and one of the first archants I see is a male 145. Um, we're gonna go for it. Um, I know it's not a female, it is what it is. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna drag it over to a safer area. And we'll probably just pretty much take it out on over here. Now, we're gonna use the net gun for this one. Um, I think it's just a little bit easier. Um, there's just so many Argents over here, honestly. Um, I've looked around the other areas, and, like, I've, uh, you know, the best I've seen is, like, a 125 female, which is what it is. A 125 could actually have a really good stat. But... 145. We're going to go for this. This is going to be great. Um, it is a male, like I said, so we will still have to find a female, but I just feel like I can't pass up a 145. Um, now, here's what I'm actually going to do, and this is why I brought this guy with me. Oh, I'm actually really, really far out. All right. This actually is a pretty flat area. This is fine. Let's see if I can just hit him and kind of just lure him over. Perfect. Let's go. One more shot. Just to... Nah, I think we're good, actually. Yeah, come on. And net gun. <laughs> this thing is amazing. Oh, my gosh. All right. Shouldn't take too many shots. Um, I'm going to kind of put 10 in it and kind of hope that knocks it out. But we'll see what happens here. All right. It looks like it is out. It is. Perfect. Okay. Uh, oh my god, 255 melee. Please, I didn't actually hit it by mistake. No, I did not. Perfect. Okay, awesome. Let's kind of work myself back here. We're basically going to let this thing sit here. 255 melee. This could be our melee guy. Uh, let's see, 1971 in health, which is already better. No, not, not, not even close. Okay, never mind. Um, 255 melee. That, okay, so just to compare, the Argent that we got tamed is 255 melee this is starting 255 melee oh my gosh this is oh my god this one's gonna be hopefully really 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 good now the downside is we do have to kill a few things on the island in order to get ourselves um to get ourselves some prime meat and everything but i think this argent is far enough away from everything that nothing should ever come over to aggro it so i think we'll be pretty good here honestly um, so let me go around. Let me start killing a few Argents just to get a little bit of prime meat. And uh, we should be good to go. I'm really excited to see what this guy has, stats-wise. All right. We're going to have to help out in here because there is a 150 Argent in this group. Um, I don't know how we're going to do, but we got we to gotta get these Argents and stuff. We got to save these guys. There is a 150 Argent in there. It might die, actually. Oh, God. We might die. <laughs> Jesus. Um, hopefully it stays alive. One of these is a 150, but I think it's the one that's really, really bloody right now, which is a bit of a concern. Um, oh, God, there's just so many things right there. And it's a female on top of that, too. But I uh, I think we're going to lose it. Damn, I think that's it right there. Um, oh, actually, it's two versus the Carno. 150 female. Oh, God, it is about to die. Get rid of that. Okay, go, 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 go. Don't let me be the one to screw this up. Oh, my gosh. All right, so let's see what is left. Let them get some health back. That's okay. I got to see which one's this 150, because I do want to lure it over to where my stuff is. That's the 150. Okay, so what's this following me right here? This is a 40. Okay, let's get rid of you. You shouldn't be a problem. It's that 150 that I really, really need. Okay, so let me kind of lure them. And see if I can get them over to that area. Because if we can get this 150 female, that is perfect. Okay. Yeah, 150's already flying away. So you know what? Let's do this. They're separated. And I'm going to put you on the other side of the island, I think. I think that's what we're going to do. Here, hit. Hitting for 13. So not the best in melee already. Because the first one hit me for 12. Uh, what level is that? Because I need that thing not to get over by us. That's a 90. Okay. Okay. That I need to be also high enough where sabers and raptors don't get involved. So let's kind of go this way. All right, let's land. Passive. 
That's fine. There we go, perfect. Downside is it's a little tough to see when it's actually knocked out at this point, so... Because the head is right here. Oh, it's up? It's out? What? Is it still up or out? What? What's going on here? No, it's up. Oh, God. There we go, and it's out. <laughs> oh my god, that was so confusing. Uh, okay, so we have a 150 and we have a 145. Uh, 688 in weight. This could be a weight one. Okay. Okay, so, so far, our first Arjun is the going to probably be the best in the stamina and, and health department. That one over there is probably going to be the best in melee. It's got 255 base already, so I'm hoping that's going to be pretty good. This one's got 688 in weight off the bat. We might have a really good group of them. Oh, my God. All right, sweet. Let's get back over to this one. I'm going to put the food on it now because it's more than ready to go. And this thing should tame up right away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll bring nine. I think nine should be more than enough. All right, this guy should just level, go up right away, so this guy should be pretty good to go. I think that's an explorer note, so I want to get away from that for right now. Yeah, man. Really? <laughs> it's missing on one food? Yeah, it's missing on one food. Okay, so let me get rid of these two. I'll take this prime meat. We'll hold on to this. Come yeah, on. That's fine. I guess it'll need another minute. All right. Whew. All right, I'm nervous. Moment of truth. 255 base melee. Yeah, I know. He's shocked, too, that he's tamed. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, God. 255. 413 melee damage. Oh, my God. This thing's great. 413 base. Oh, my God. So, okay. So imprinting them and everything 413 puts us almost close to 500 base without leveling what the, what the hell did we just get oh my god 413 that's insane okay awesome all right now we have enough prime meat i don't have to go hunt anymore um we're at about nine here that should be enough for the 150 i'm gonna double check on dodo decks and everything but Ooh, I think we have a really nice group of Argents here. I really do. Oh, man. We'll see. I, I would say that probably the only gripe is going to be the stamina and maybe the health. Because the health is 31, which isn't bad, and the stamina is 1160. I feel like that could be very good. I don't know. I feel like that's a little low. But I know with this one, health is 1606 and 860 stam. That's 6888 weight. This is going to be our weight one, 100%. Um, hopefully, it gets really good stats in health too, but we'll kind of see what happens. All right, but guys, that's two out of three. Let's wait to see what the 150 looks like once it gets up. We'll check out the stats, and uh, we'll go from there. But I think we have a really nice group of uh, Argents here, and nice colors too. I'm really, really surprised. None of them are event colors, but they all look really, really nice. So... Let's see what happens, guys. Oh, my God. I'm nervous for this one. All right. And she's up. All right. Moment of truth. We need a good weight stat. Yeah. They're, she's doing the same thing. What? What is that? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it has to do with, like, the net gun. Because I didn't, I didn't notice that with the first one that we got. It might be something to do with the net gun. That's actually really funny. But anyways, okay, we need a high weight stat. This was the one that had a stupid amount of weight already. And not bad. 776 seems pretty good. I was kind of hoping. I know it's kind of nuts to say. I was kind of hoping at 680 regular, it was going to end up being like 800 plus. But 776 is pretty damn good, honestly. And that's without imprint and stuff like that uh going over the other stats uh 2336 in health so still the first one's better um the first one's still better in stam this one is 1140 the best is 1160 i believe 
Um, 776 in weight is the best one. 313 melee, not bad. Actually, it did not get that bad of a melee roll. I would have preferred that to go into the weight, but it is what it is. We are looking at a really good group of Argents here. I'm really, really happy with these, honestly. I'm really, really excited. Um, let's head on back to base, though, because we have a few things uh, left to do in the episode. All right, guys, I'm back at base here, and we have a total of 45 more primey jerky, which gives us four more chances to get ourselves, hopefully, a chibi that we like. Don't get me wrong, I really do like the chibi that we already have, but at the same time, if we can get something better, why not, you know? Um, let me see, I think I left, yeah, I left a little bit of, yeah, we'll use wood this time, that's totally okay. Let's kind of throw that in here, and let's get four more chances for chibis. Um, cause who doesn't like chibis, honestly? So, let's jump in here, let's do this, and we're gonna make a total of four and see what we get. Alright, last one is being worked on, and... Ooh. Alright, so we get the Mo Shops, the Megalania, the Trike, and the Mesopithecus. Hmm, alright. Not bad. The only one out of the group that I would actually think about keeping is the Meso. Let's see what the meso looks like. Woo, we got a little blue monkey. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so I'm going to leave the vote up to you guys. I'm going to be honest, the Megalania, the Mo Shops, and the Trike isn't really my fancy. So, you know what? Let's kind of run down here first. We should have some of these guys ready to go anyway, so let's do this. One, two, three, four plop these in here for right now. Yeah, I can put these in here too, just so we're good with space. I'm going to keep that. We have a couple of these guys, the Parasur, and then, yeah, the other two. Okay, so let's throw these in here first. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yes, one, two, three, and four. And four. And we'll see what we get. Hopefully it's a good one. If not, no big deal. Uh, ooh, the Reaper. Interesting. Let's see if it's the normal color, because I always feel like the Reaper only gets, like, one color. But don't get me wrong, I like the Reaper. But, yeah, it's the same color. They always seem to get, like, the same kind of idea here, where it's, like, the black with, like, the pink and everything. Yeah, it looks good. Um, I don't know, I feel like I've outgrown the Reaper, though. The Meso's interesting. I've actually never had the Meso. Um, I've, I've had the Feather Light, but here's what we're going to do, guys. Let's kind of get out over here. Just so we can kind of look at these guys in there, uh, have them in spotlight a bit. So we have the feather light. This guy right here, we'll kind of just do like this so we can zoom on in so you guys can see it. We have the feather light here. And then we have the meso. Which one do you guys prefer? Let me know in the comments down below. Um, I like both. The meso would just be a little bit different for me because I've actually never had it before and I think it's actually looks kind of cool. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, but uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And that's the one that we'll stick with uh, for the series, at least until the next event. But let's also head on out here for a second to show off the marvelous, the amazing Argents that we have. 413 melee, 776 in weight, 3139 in health, and 1160 stamina. These things are going to make an incredible, incredible baby. I'm really excited to see what we can get out of these. Um, I think the Argent that, we're, that we have is going to be absolutely incredible, guys. But that, in fact, is going to wrap up today's episode, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, smash that like button. Questions, comments, leave it down below. If you're new to the channel or you're already joining, enjoying my contact... All right, take two of the outro. That's going to wrap up today's episode, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, smash that like button, questions, comments, leave it down below. If you're new to the channel or you've already been enjoying my content and you just haven't hit that subscribe button yet, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. It really, really helps me out. And I'll see you guys in the next one.